Um, throughout my uh, 10 years as mayor, I worked very hard uh, to ensure the long-term fiscal stability of this city. Uh, one example is uh, that of the capital reserve account uh, that uh, together with the Board of Aldermen, we have built over the last eight years to approximately uh, $15 million. Uh, I also want to thank Alderman Sangiolo and Brandel for their efforts to present an alternative to the operating override proposal I submitted to the board last month. Uh, I think we can all agree that we need to address our city's structural deficit and that we must also view our current finances through the lens of our city's long-term fiscal stability. <laughs> While I remain open-minded to alternative, solu alternative solutions to our current fiscal condition, I would like to share a few of my questions and concerns related to the Sanjolo Brandle proposal. I think first of all, uh, one of the key differences in my plan and theirs is that uh, they uh, would pare down the uh, capital reserve account that we've worked so hard to build up over the past years, and they will they will uh, draw it down by about half in just the next fiscal year. They will use almost exactly half of that entire fund next year. They use $8 million in one-time uh, money for operating expenses uh, in uh, fiscal year 2009. Uh, the plan also uh, includes a number of other things, but I think what I what I want to say first is that you know the plan doesn't create any new money. Schools uh, still cost the same. Uh, the difference is that in the San Jolo Brando um, uh, plan, they are carried off budget. They're not listed in the budget, and but the additional funds that uh, uh, taxpayers will be required to pay to meet these necessary expenses uh, will be real nonetheless. Um, also, the San Jolo Brandle plan also includes a substantial cut to the um, school department's requested budget. Uh, the um, San Jolo Brandle proposal uh, cuts that amount by about $5.7 million. And at a time when enrollment is increasing, when we have had really five years of little else other than cuts in programs, when our special education obligations are rising, it's my opinion that uh, this is a deep cut that will have a negative impact on the quality of our schools. I'm also concerned about what may be perceived to be the use of gimmicks in this plan. It's important to note, again, that the cost of building Newton North and repairing and replacing our other schools haven't changed. They would just be moved off budget under the plan. Pa also, paring down our debt service from the current 3%, which is a low figure, at a time when our capital assets are in dire need of immediate attention, is unwise. Not only is it unwise, it really runs contrary to the recommendations of the Blue Ribbon Commission which said rather than cutting our capital contribution from 3%, argued that we should be increasing it to make up for the fact that we have underfunded 
our capital budgets uh, for decades, if not generations. Second of all, um, I'm very concerned about this recommendation because reducing the amount that we spend on, uh, in our budget on capital uh, is a departure from the financial guidelines that were passed by the Board of Aldermen themselves. Uh, in those guidelines, they set 3% as a minimum, and there was uh, uh, a clear intention that uh, that amount be increased over time. The plan that I have proposed does just that. Uh, this one uh, does not. Um, also, I have questions about the feasibility of their plan to use 30-year bonds for all of our debt. I believe it is appropriate for a large high school, uh, our large high school project, but um, making it a practice for all of our debt, I think would not sit well with our bond rating agencies. Also, uh, we have spoken with our financial advisors and uh, uh, they indicated that um, uh, using the capital reserve that, again, has been built up over, um, over the last eight years uh, to essentially uh, fund the oper fuel the operating budget um, and not be associated with any uh, new um, um, capital projects would, uh, in their opinion, seriously jeopardize our trip chances of uh, retaining a AAA bond rate. Um, finally, I would be happy to hear from Alderman Sangelo and Brandel uh, what their proposal would do if, for example, the Newton North debt exclusion failed the required two-thirds vote of the Board of Aldermen or the vote of the citizens. It's an important point, considering the tens of millions of dollars we have already invested in the current project, and also the fact that if we do nothing at North, that is not an option. Doing nothing uh, besides uh, leaving uh, what is fast becoming an unacceptable building, uh, building condition uh, risks losing Newton North's accreditation. While my plan provides funds for other key capital projects, including the fields itself, the upgrades of the fire stations, and money needed for improvements of construction for our elementary schools. Um, those important projects would only be funded through a debt exclusion vote uh, under uh, uh, the uh, brandel Giolo proposal. Uh, I feel that these needs are too important to risk. I want to underscore my willingness to hear and evaluate other ideas from other members of the board or other members of the community about our current condition. Uh, in doing that, for this particular plan, I have some serious reservations about the viability. 